Hello, it's Matt here from Cooking with Grenades, and today I'm going to take a look at a bit of an April Fool's joke. Uh, this was an update for Rock of Ages, which was put up yesterday, and it's quite interesting, really. Basically, what this does is it adds a new ball, but it's not a ball. It's this, it's the Block of Ages. Uh, I didn't actually notice that before, but the title is also changed. Now you can play with this ball if you select it in here. You can still use your old normal borders. Um, what's it called? There it is. Okay. And it's interesting because it doesn't use the same physics as the ball. So we will jump into a game. Uh, I select a random one here. I'm not sure exactly if they plan to keep this. Uh, I hope they do, because it's, it's interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if it's unbalanced or anything, but it it's hard to control, and it takes up twice as long to roll down a hill, but it does more damage when it gets there. So I don't really know like, if that's fair or not. I can't really decide. But let's put down some defenses over here. You can still use all of the um, power-ups, like the lava, fiery thing, uh, and the oil that you can choose when you put your border up, but the only difference is it's a square, it's a block. So oh yeah, as you can see here, they're not actually making it into a circle, but it does turn into a circle when it's actually made there. Uh, I'm going to choose... Oil. Oh, this is what you can expect, Tungna. Oh god. It's very hard to control. But I find jumping is the uh, is the best method for this. Just keep jumping. It's quite good with the oil actually, because then uh, you can destroy their the blocks that they can put stuff onto quite easily. Oh my god. No, up. Go up. If you haven't seen anything about this game, by the way, uh, our first video on this channel was actually a block of age, uh, rock of ages, rather, and I wrote a review for this game on cookinggrenades.com. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's a very good game, uh, and I recommend it. Indie game by the developers of Zeno Zeno Clash, I think it's called. Uh, that's what that's Ace Team, the developers. Published by Atlas. Let's see what the enemy's doing. Right, stairs. These are a bit difficult. There we go. There's not many hills on this level, really. Maybe this wasn't the best level to uh, demonstrate this, but... It will, because it seems quite easy to control it on this one. Okay, he's done damage. Uh, about... I'd say a third of my gate is done now. So let's see what I do. If I'm actually anywhere near the, the gate yet. Uh, which it doesn't look like I have. Go. Oh crap. No, up. So this is me not jumping. The whole time I've been tapping space uh, to jump, but I shall start again. So he's he started his second turn while I'm just nearing the gate. And I'm going quite fast. Whoa. Oh god, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so as you can see I took over over half of his uh, gate down with that. So it's very powerful. Uh, maybe overpowered, I'm not sure. 
as I said, I can't make my mind up. Uh, let's put some TNT. Let's try and shoot him down, actually. Where is he? Um, put more of these down here. Going the wrong way. I don't know where he is. Should I start my turn? Uh, let's go for lava. I doubt this is going to last long, but you know, it's kind of pointless anyway. Seems uh, harder to control this time. That's probably just me, though. I did actually play with this a bit yesterday, and I did win a match, um, which I, I was surprised by, honestly. I guess it's just that extra damage that it does. I don't know why. Maybe they just programmed it in. Maybe it's because it's got uh, so many corners and stuff. So it does a lot more sharpness damage, if you will. Uh, but you know, there have been previous festive balls, like uh, there was a pumpkin ball and snowman head uh, during the Halloween and Christmas updates. So I'm guessing this is going to stay here. Those are still all available, so. Um, I wonder if they're going to do an Easter one as well, maybe they could do like an egg or something. Whoa. I haven't seen, I think I've seen this uh, boulder crack, but I haven't seen it actually turn smaller because of that. Because uh, if you damage your boulders enough, they go smaller, they crack and the outside shell kind of gets destroyed. Whoa. I think the elephant there cracked me a bit. It looks like the enemy is struggling there, trying to get onto a step. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Well. Oh, I still got my fight there. Jump, jump. Now here's the thing, if I don't get uh, full damage this time, if I don't take it out, I will probably lose. But I have a feeling that I will get full damage because I'm still on fire and of course I'm in the block of ages. Do this, go on. Go on. Whoa. Hey. Oh my god, he's off. Um. Well, um. Okay. Now I need to try and. Well, this isn't quite a nice position there. Squash. And I got an achievement for it. Lovely. So, yeah, that's the Block of Ages update for Rock of Ages. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent thing. I hope it will be, but it seems a bit overpowered. I don't know. Uh, so, thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more like this, please subscribe, like, uh, favourite the video, maybe comment, because that helps us. And I've been Matt, and I'll see you next time.